This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. From tomorrow, you won't see cigarettes in shops. It's part of the government's target of making New Zealand smoke-free by 2025. But as James Ransley reports, some retailers are concerned the ban poses a security risk. Scratching the surface of the smoke-free debate. It's not easy. <laughs> Doesn't want to come off. I think it's been up there for a while. Starting Monday, dairy owners like Kelly Patel are banned from displaying tobacco products in their shops. We can pretty much not see them now anyway, so I think going a step further is probably a good thing. I don't think it's going to stop people from smoking or encourage them to smoke. It's kind of irrelevant. Retailers are also prohibited from telling customers which smokes are cheaper and if asked, they have to show them this, a menu. Failure to comply could end up with a fine of up to $10,000. While the tobacco companies have paid for these cabinets to be refitted, the association representing retailers aren't entirely convinced that they're practical. To find the, the product is um, a longer delay. That delay can also mean that uh, while they've got their back turned, someone else could be in the store reaching over into the counter uh, or could be um, you know, walking out the door with some extra product. Well, but what is your number one concern with this new setup now? Security. Anti-smoking groups are rubbishing the claims. People who um, are involved in the tobacco industry or with the tobacco industry are going to find every excuse um, to not implement this, these types of strategies. Also proposed is a series of tax hikes on smokes and introducing plain packaging. Strategies like this do work. The government making smokes out of sight, one step closer to a smoke-free New Zealand by 2025. James Ransley, One News. And we have more on the tobacco issue on breakfast tomorrow morning with the Associate Health Minister Tariana Tudia. That's here on One from 6 in the morning. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.